The pandemic has put a wrench into many sports plans. The Olympic Games were supposed to start in Tokyo this week. Instead, the countdown is now on for next summer, as Crystal Gamansing explains. It's the last weekend in July. Many of us have lost track of the days, but not Olympic-bound athletes like Dana Pedereski. I'm grateful to be in the position that I'm in where I know I have a spot. Um, and at the same time, I sort of am viewing this delay as just another year to get stronger. If it wasn't for the pandemic, venues for the summer games would be packed. Instead, we are now one year out and the countdown is on. And the Olympic Games are the most complex event on this planet. Uh, we have to get together 11,000 athletes. But some people don't want the games to go ahead. Part of the issue is cost. With the postponement, conservative estimates peg the cost of the games at around $15 billion. There's also doubt they can be held safely given the continued spread of COVID-19. You train for four years, eight years, 12 years. You commit everything you have uh, with the hope to compete, with the hope to win. Three-time Olympic gold medalist Marnie McBean knows all about the roller coaster of emotions. The chef de mission tried to reflect that in her latest letter to the athletes. Our plans were garbaged. In, in March, um, but our goals weren't. Our goals remain the same. The only thing I can do is focus on what I can control, and that's working hard and trying to be the best athlete that I can be. And that means staying healthy and training where and whenever it's possible. Crystal Gamance in Global News, London.